Whoop whoop! Call the fun police. Whoop whoop! It's the sound of the fun police. Ah, oh, blizzard. <laughs> oh, I'm whooping, by the way. They're at it again. Generation Snowflake must be protected. Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. I am 100% convinced that the gaming industry has in their mind the perfect gamer blueprint, which they want to see playing their games across the board. But the reality of the matter is, this will never, ever be the case. Why? Because gamers are such a diverse bunch of people. We are different colours, we are different genders, we are different races, we are different religions, we are different social economically. We have people who scream and shout, we have people who are very quiet and reserved, we have people that swear like a French sailor, we have people who have much more control over their diction. The perfect gamer will never ever happen. But that isn't going to stop Blizzard from attempting to get to that position. And so what we're seeing at the moment is their desperate attempt to police the way that their games are viewed and potentially played. And we're going to have a look at a couple of articles in this video and it's just going to blow up in their face massively. So let's start off with this article from .esports.com and as ever, all articles I refer to will be listed in the description box down below. Go check them out in their entirety. Blizzard punishes 18,000 Overwatch accounts in South Korea for toxicity. <laughs> toxicity! Happy New Year's, everyone, except the more than 18,000 Overwatch players that got punished by Blizzard on January 2nd. The Overwatch developer posted a sprawling list of banned, suspended, and punished players on the game's forum. The 18,188 accounts were guilty for a number of reasons related to TOXICITY! <laughs> Throwing games, going AFK, bad language and harassment, and having differing punishments. Okie dokie. So if I jump to the South Korean Blizzard forums for Overwatch... Now do bear in mind that this is translated... Uh, by the inbuilt feature from Korean to English. So there could be some stuff lost in translation. But it says, uh, Non-Participant Act sanctioned information and it was updated yesterday. Hello, all Overwatch players. Blizzard Entertainment continues to strive to create a more positive gaming experience by eliminating, eliminating... The Hitman out. Eliminating obstacles to your gameplay experience. We are also improving our in-game reporting and punishment system based on feedback from many players who have been giving advice, snitches, and interest through the Overwatch forum or the community. So uh, they not only have uh, banned or punished, I should say, 18,188 accounts, but they're also improving their reporting and punishment systems uh, based off snowflakes snitching. <laughs> if you don't like what somebody says to you, just block them, you know. <laughs> just click and ignore, block, mute, what whatever. Uh, we'll get to that in a bit. And then they go ahead and they list the 18,188 accounts that were punished. Okay, we're going to be here forever if I do this. Let's move on to the next bit. Now, the reason I referred to these punished 18,188 Overwatch accounts is, number one, that's the largest number by a long shot. And number two... Because of this, which dropped a few days ago. And this is also on .esports.com, linked in the description box down below. 
Blizzard is testing a new moderation system for Overwatch Contenders Twitch chat. So let's have a look at this, shall we? A Twitch chat moderation system will be implemented for Overwatch Contenders 2018 season quarterfinals. Fans who tune into the matches from December 28th to January 12th will have to link their Battle.net accounts and Twitch accounts to participate in Twitch chat on the Overwatch Contenders channel. Blizzard announced the initiative yesterday. We're always testing out new ways to improve viewer experience for the Overwatch Path to Pro ecosystem. An Overwatch Contenders representative wrote on the blog, The Path to Pro team will evaluate the program's overall effect on creating a more positive viewing experience. Oh man, protect the snowflakes. So, you can probably guess what this is already. You, if you want to speak, have got to link your battle.net to your Twitch. Therefore, they know who you are on Battle.net. If you say something that they deem toxic, that they are unhappy with, that they do not agree with, that goes against their philosophy of the perfect gamer and the perfect experience for all viewers, then you're going to get punished. It's as simple as that. You're going to get punished. How that punishment will be dished out, yet to be seen. You might get banned, you might get suspended, you might have, you know, chat revoked for a period of time, but make no bones about it. This system has been implemented to threaten you. To threaten you and to threaten people who want to open their mouths and dare communicate on Twitch, the interactive forum where streamers can go and people can converse in chat and streamers can go with them if they want to. And Look, I'm a streamer. I do some streaming as well. Sure, I don't have a huge channel. I normally get a couple of hundred people watching me or so if, uh, you know, maybe a few more depending on what I play. But if I, you know, I am try my hardest to interact as much as I can with the chat, answering questions, going through queries, joking roasting, you know, I get involved in all the activities that I possibly can. If I see certain things getting out of hand, I'll normally warn people. If they don't take the warning, then they'll tend to get a 10-minute timeout. And when they come back for the 10-minute timeout, more often than not, more often than not, they are like, okay, sorry. <laughs> it's very rare that they'll come back and go, and keep on going. And even then, if they do, you can just ban them. You could just ban them. Now, that is as a Twitch streamer. And obviously, this is a tournament, so they're not going to be interacting. The players, the eSport players, aren't going to be interacting. But there aren't going to be moderators in the chat. There are going to be people who can look through comments. And if they see anything inappropriate, they can give them a language warning. They can give them timeout. They can give them a caps lock warning. Whatever they, they want to personally do. And if they continue to be inappropriate, if they use language which... Uh, they're not happy with, let's just say for argument's sake, they're dropping M-bombs all over the place, then sure, just ban them. Ban them from the chat. Just stop them from conversing in your chat. And this goes the other way around for people who are watching as well. If you are watching the tournament go on and you are saying that your experience has been ruined by the chat... My experience, oh, I looked at the chat, it's just awful, it's just full of filth and da 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 da. Well, just go full screen. Just go full screen. You don't have to have the chat open. It's an optional feature. There are already tools in place to prevent these things from happening. And the irony is, you have games companies who are, again, positioning the gamer as the enemy. They're positioning their customers as bad, as toxic, as naughty, as people that need to be policed, as people that need to be governed. Just the tools are already in place right now for nobody's experience to be ruined. If you're wanting to watch with a group of friends, 
Fine. And you're not happy with the chat, just go full screen, go into Discord or something together. And then you guys can have your own personal chats and conversations about what's going on. If you want to get involved in a conversation with somebody in the Twitch channel and it's getting a little bit heated, guess what? Boom! People have differing opinions. Whenever you have a competitive sport, and it doesn't matter if it's an e-sport, football, rugby, cricket, whatever. It could be flipping tiddlywinks for all I care. But whenever you have a competitive sport, you are going to get clashes between different players, different groups, different factions. That is the nature of it. You will always have those heads being butted. The way that this is being discussed. We know why they want it this way. This is because uh, these companies don't care about the gamers. They're, they're caring about the sponsors now. And how the sponsors will view these systems. And how the sponsors will be, Oh, look at this chat. This is disgraceful. We don't want our brand associated with such tomfoolery. All they want is for you to be a red number at the bottom... Be a metric that you're viewing the tournament and to sit down and shut up. Just sit there. Just sit there, shut your mouth and watch the people. That's all they want. That's all they want. They just want this. A bunch of zombies. Or they want a think tank. That, uh, not a think tank, an echo chamber, sorry. They want an echo chamber in the chat where everybody is just saying the same thing. Oh, eSports so good. Oh, team go. Oh, oh, oh. And it's just such a ridiculous, utopic vision of what it will be. And it's never, ever going to happen. So as I said earlier, this is just going to blow up in their face. They're already losing people left, right, and center. Engagement is down. And then they're trying to police people to push it down even further. You're just forcing people to go elsewhere. Forcing people where they can have a platform to be able to disagree with people. To be able to have an argument with people. Sometimes, sure, it gets out of hand. But there's enough in-game tools to manage that anyway. Mute them. Block them. Whatever. There, they're done. It's over. Ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Again. 2019, da 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 it's, oh, it's a belter already. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming links. They're in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.